One of the most exciting programs that we've been running for the past 12 months is our CALL program, which is our water familiarisation program for people from migrant communities. Um, we received quite a bit of funding from the TAS Water Safety Council and from the Department of Premier and Cabinet. Okay, so the schools that we've been working with is Cosgrove High School, Brooks High School, Launceston College and Newstead College. And it's an, a five day program that consisted of um, different components around basic water safety skills. And what was so exciting was the fact that we also had other organisations involved, such as Surf Life Saving and Mass in the Department of Education. And young people had the opportunity to experience an aquatic environment, or several aquatic environments, where they um, were able to learn basic water skills, such as being in a pool, um, how to do res reach rescues, how to, do, um, how to identify a, a pool lifeguard and what their role was, um, just really basic stuff because a lot of these young people had never ever been in an aquatic environment and didn't have any understanding of actually how to behave in an aquatic environment, what sort of services there was, what they could do, um, how to actually safely enter the pool, get out of the pool, all those type of things, all those things that we take for granted that these young people just didn't have any skills or knowledge about. And probably one of the most um, exciting things for me when I visited one of the programs was we took a group of young people to the beach and they had never ever experienced sand before. So some of them were quite frightened by it, some of them got upset, some of them were quite excited. But by the end of the day we actually had them on a beach and they were building sand castles and they were just experiencing what it was like to be at the beach and just receiving so much joy. The COLD program is something that we would really like to continue as part of our core business within Royal Life Saving Tasmania. We have a lot of immigrants that come to Tasmania, a lot of young people, and it's certainly an area where they need a lot of education. And we would like to see it actually incorporated into the Department of Education curriculum. I suppose one of the things is that we have to look at funding and sourcing funding and we'll be working with government to ensure that it happens. But um, there has been a significant amount of interest within government in relation to this program because it has been so successful, especially with our media coverage and people talking from within the Department of Education. And one of the things that we would like to do is just expand it because a lot of those young people at the end of the um, program approached us and said they would actually like to be poor lifeguards. And that is one thing that um, we would like to do is provide a mentoring program so that they can actually go through maybe six, eight, ten months a program where they actually get that qualification. They will need um, a considerable amount of support but even since I've started talking about it we've had a lot of interest from members of the community who, who would like to assist and also from pools as well that want to be involved and are, are quite willing to give up their time and resources. I suppose with the COLD program, I would really like to thank um, the people that funded the program, but also the person who was actually the facilitator of the program, Katie. Um, she was amazing in terms of the way that she delivered the program, the way that she interacted with the young people. Um, she, she came into this where um, she didn't have a lot of understanding about how to work with these type of cultures, but um, you know, she learned along the way, she did a lot of research, she went off and did her own professional development and it really showed in terms of the way how successful the program was.